I sort of know what I want, but I don't know the exact keywords to it, and I do want to find something. The AI sort of helps me in like bringing that to surface. Hi everyone! Thanks for tuning into Notes of Design. To help support our mission, spread knowledge, we have a very special guest on today's episode. Let's welcome Akshay Kore, who is a product designer working on human-computer interaction problems. He has previously worked with AI and research groups at Microsoft, and also led team for SME Vertical at ClearTag. He's presently worked with Observe AI, designing for AI products and systems. On this episode, Akshay had shared great insights on how AI is used to design for great products and services, and being a designer, how one can utilize the power of AI to achieve. Emulate that into their regular flow. With that, we have also spoken about the various process and step it takes for a designer to shift his mindset on building products for AI. In the end, we have discussed on the edge case scenarios and providing the delightful experiences to the end users. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And on every Friday, we release a new episode with a new creative leader around the world to help you understand different topics related to design. So don't forget to tune in into Notes of Design on every Friday. With that said, happy designing, everyone. Hi Akshay, welcome to Notes of Design. It's a pleasure hosting you today on our show. Thanks, Dej. Really happy to be here. So, Akshay, how's your day going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Like it's a nice uh, weekend. So, Akshay, what is your journey into design, and how did you start? What are your tips to the beginners that you want to suggest? My journey, I would say, like has been like pretty. I would say st- standard. I studied architecture for five years, and uh, while I was doing architecture, I would participate in a number of competitions and stuff. And eventually, I realized that uh, I was more interested in like the tools that made architecture possible than like the act of building itself. So yeah, I decided to like pursue that, and like I joined IIT Bombay, where uh, I studied interaction design for like HCI, human computer interaction. It was a good way of like me trying to learn these things because I was interested, and generally it felt pretty home in that sort of an environment. I was always interested in science versus the arts side kind of things, and like IIT Bombay was I would say a good place for me. Then um, after that, uh, when it came to like picking companies, I sort of like wanted to go into like pure technology company, which is why I like sort of interviewed for Microsoft, and like thankfully got in. Was there about um, three and a half years where I worked with uh, the AI research division, which is where I sort of like got interested in AI and like learned a lot there and like worked on a lot of AI products. Was that I was at uh, Player Tax for a bit, and then now I'm now I'm working at a startup called Observe AI. So, which is a pure AI startup. Generally, I would say like it's generally been me trying to pursue whatever I'm interested in at the moment. Like because I became interested in AI, I sort of like uh, lean towards companies for like projects I have that those things. And I also wanted to like I realized that working in AI was like a very unique opportunity for me at that time. And I started like writing stuff, conducting a few workshops, participating in conferences, which is like a very good place to like learn from other people tips to beginners i would say if you are interested in something like just try to pursue it like it's in the uh, there's something called as a regret minimization framework where uh, uh, just analyze the cost of not pursuing it and if you think the cost is not too high for example it doesn't affect your livelihood too much or it, it doesn't affect your like long term career trajectory and you're interested in something and that could potentially make you like happy or like satisfied with what you do i would suggest you pursue that so for example if you are if you are somebody who is curious about design and wants to get into it maybe try doing something on the weekends or like trying Try dipping your or dipping your toes into the field because uh, generally it's I would say it's quite an open field. Like there are no like barriers to entry. Like I've seen like one way to get into design is through like the whole degree route which I took. But then there are a lot of people who have like gone into design without having like specific professional degrees in design, and that also works because here in the age of internet, everything is available. All information that you need often much better than what you might taught at your colleges will be. There online, I would suggest if you're interested, I would say go ahead. This is a very good time anyway to get into design. A lot of it's going to branch out into a lot of specified fields. So it's going to be like design for and like for whatever industry you want. Good time for so that. I would my only tip is that. If you're interested, try it out. Yeah, indeed, Akshat, that's correct. So let's begin our episode with designing for AI products. So mm-hmm. how is AI used in products or services? Da- <laughs> Oh, you know, man.